the Area 88, or as it's known in North America, UN Squadron, because I suppose someone thought the idea of the UN indiscriminately destroying military bases and aircraft carriers was preferable to a mere mercenary force, but I honestly never played UN Squadron, my only experience being with this, the Japanese version, so I didn't get to live out the dream of being a crafty UN pilot destroying things. Nevertheless, I still love this game. It's one of the standout shooters for the Super Famicom or the SNES. I really like the fact that Area 88 isn't just a straightforward shoot 'em up, but instead it offers you a lot more gameplay options to keep things interesting because, as we know, this isn't a genre that the SNES handled particularly well, so a good gimmick really does help. Here you're given three different characters to choose from that have different starting aircraft, but as you clear stages, destroy everything in sight and conserve ammo where possible, you earn money that can be spent on new aircraft that have varying levels of speed and handling and access to different weapon loadouts. So there's a bit of strategy included here that you didn't really get from other shooters at the time. Something else that sets Area 88 apart from its peers is that it gives you the freedom to play through the game's many stages in whatever order you like by selecting them from the overworld map, but you have to be careful not to let the mobile forces get too close to your base or you'll have no choice but to take them out whether you're ready to or not. So there's a variety of aircraft and weapons and a lot of different stages giant boss enemies to take on, that's all well and good, but it doesn't mean much if the gameplay isn't fun, and the gameplay in Area 88 is indeed very fun. It's not a high-speed, fast-twitch kind of gaming experience. It's a bit of a slow burn for the most part as far as shooters go, but it's challenging and fun with tight controls and a wide variety of enemies and stage objectives to keep things interesting. Some stages will have you taking out ground enemies, others are strictly air battles, and the variety of aircraft and weapons come in handy in all of these different stages, so there's a lot to hold your attention here. If you're an SNES or Super Famicom collector, Area 88 or UN Squadron is an essential title for your collection, especially if you're a shooter fan. It's fun, it's challenging, it features some nice visuals and decent sound design, and it's a unique title in the genre. I honestly don't know much about the UN, I'm not sure what their function is in the world, but as a dramatization, this game definitely has me interested. Carry on, you win. Destroy those subterranean flying warship things. The peace of the world depends on it. Yeah. 